The fourth annual UCSF Digital Health Awards seeks to find the most impactful and disruptive digital health companies. Out of thousands of participating companies, only the top four in each category are selected as finalists. Each day, you're asked to log your levels of stress, anxiety, fatigue, and pain. Based on these self-ratings, a daily goal of gameplay is recommended, typically between 6 to 10 minutes. Personal Zen is a simple, casual game that trains you to focus on the positive and let go of the negative. Angry and happy sprites briefly appear and then disappear. Your goal is to trace the trail left by the happy sprite to receive medallions. While watching gameplay, you might notice that your attention draws to the angry sprite instead of the happy sprite. This is called threat bias, a habit of attention that drives you to focus on negative information at the expense of the positive. Hear in their own words why they should win. Hi, I'm Raj Amin, CEO and co-founder of Wise Therapeutics, where our mission is to change the game in mental health. The fact is, mental health is facing a massive engagement problem. Although half of us will suffer from a diagnosable mental illness in our lifetimes, only half of those diagnosed will actually seek treatment. This is for a variety of reasons, including stigma, fitting in the time, or the level of effort needed. So how can we help address this engagement problem? In our opinion, we should embrace what's already engaging people every day with the power of mobile gaming. What if we could use this power to treat mental health conditions more easily and effectively? Now we do this by developing engaging and accessible game-based treatments, ensuring those treatments are supported by rigorous evidence, and offering treatments that are complementary and well integrated into holistic care. Our leadership team brings together clinical research, consumer technology, and healthcare strategy. I'll start by talking about the cognitive training technique called attention bias modification, or ABM, which is at the heart of our technologies. ABM is digital native and aims to retrain cognitive processes to improve mental health outcomes. My research is focused on evolving ABM to be more engaging and accessible by taking lessons from the world of mobile gaming. We continue to iterate and improve our technology through adaptive algorithms and dynamic gameplay. Our focus now is to continue achieving clinical and regulatory milestones for our pipeline of digital therapeutics. We've also begun to roll out our deployment platform with payers and providers who embrace the need for new non-pharmaceutical treatment options. At the same time, legislation and industry support has continued to accelerate this new category of products in this important area of software as medicine. Join us on November 14th for our grand finale at Health in Las Vegas to see the winners crowned.